What if it was you who were living on less than a dollar a day? What if it was you who didn't have water or don't have electricity? Would you like someone to help you? Engineers Without Borders is such a compelling cause because engineers build the foundations of society. The mission of Engineers Without Borders is to partner with communities in developing countries to help them provide drinking water, uh, power, and some of their basic needs. Vector's vision says that we must uh, participate in the lives of those people uh, in the communities where we live and work. And EWB projects bring that opportunity to all of us. Please at Bechtel will benefit from Engineers Without Borders because it gives them the chance to take a step back from the large-scale mega-projects that they've been working on and get back in touch with the values that have made this company so successful. For very small-scale development projects, such as the projects that Engineers Without Borders helps facilitate, engineers can really understand very firsthand how small infrastructure changes can completely impact the long-term social construct of a community. The most dramatic uh, outcome in one world uh, is, is a change, it's a positive change. I, I've seen that there is a hope. We ensure that we get the communities engaged in solving their own problems. Uh, what Engineers Without Borders doesn't want to do is to go in there and provide solutions without the community's input. We always want to make sure that we are addressing what the community needs by brainstorming with them. When we got to the community of Lumwana West in Zambia, the community members and the students from the village all came out to the highway and they paraded us into the village while they sang. It was the most welcoming experience I think I've ever had in my entire life. Employees, they benefit greatly from this volunteering effort. They will learn as much as they will be teaching others. The work I've done with Engineers Art Borders has helped develop my approach to problem solving. Thinking with the end in mind and reinforcing the value of a holistic approach. I'm able to improve my leadership skills, my communication skills, and also my technical skills. Individuals are leading design teams, they're leading travel teams, they're responsible for coordinating many different aspects of the EWB projects. Um, it exposes you to a different, a different working environment. Um, if you go out into the field, it pushes you out of your comfort zone. You really learn about a lot about yourself as a person. Engineers Without Borders is a perfect training ground. You don't have to be an engineer to be involved. Whatever your kids are, you are needed. Be right on the ground building some of these projects from start to finish. Engineer Without Borders helps me to value my engineering skills and how much it can save the life of people. And at the end of the day, it makes me a better engineer. It's also sort of refueled my passion for being an engineer. Uh, getting in there and getting to see how your work directly affects communities and how you can make a difference has really made me feel good about being an engineer and the work I do outside of my professional career. When you have the biggest and best engineering company in the world on your side, I feel that real change can happen.